there. I thought today it might be a nice little change of pace if we do a tutorial. Painting is such a pleasant way to find your inner peace, but a lot of people are afraid to do it because they think it's hard. Nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> Anyone can paint. Well, Jack can't. He tried before. It was a huge mess. <laughs> Poltergeist, they can black out a city, but basic motor functions are uh, a little tricky for them. <laughs> but you certainly can paint, unless you're a ghost. Then you should come see me. Helping with unfinished business is what I do. Lost wills, declarations of love, dark confessions. <laughs> it's all so exciting and romantic, don't you think? I'm getting off topic. Let's talk about painting. I think if you're a beginner, you should paint what you feel. You know, blend a color that speaks to you. I think I'm gonna start with some red. And I've added just a little bit of purple to give it that strong, healthy lifeblood color. <laughs> Next, I think we should add some ashy gray to cheer it up a bit. And maybe some black too. It's always good to have contrast. But don't worry if you don't understand all the technical terms right now. The most important thing to remember is there are no mistakes. Just think of them as happy accidents. <laughs> like for instance, this little gray blotch over here. I'm gonna turn that into an ax, our secret little ax. We don't have to tell anyone about it. Isn't this fun? So this is what we have so far. It looks a little bare, like it's missing something. How about a pentagram? Don't be ridiculous. She's trying to be funny. Oh, I know, a skull. <laughs> Oh, I guess I should end this video before it gets too long. I'm sure Mark is a busy person. <laughs> Anyways, I hope painting is a little less scary to you now that you know how easy it can be. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys later, or I guess you'll see me later. <laughs>